This is a Nappy Lady demonstration of the new Bum Genius Elemental. The Elemental is an all-in-one nappy, which means it has the absorbent part attached to the waterproof layer. The inside is made of organic cotton and the nappy fits birth to potty, which is approximately 8 to 35 pounds. The Elemental is a generous cut, so even if you do have tall children in the family, it fits really well. The nappy comes in a popper only fastening. And it also has the Bum Genius stretchy tabs, so you can still get a really good fit. Each tab has two poppers. and they fasten along the top row on the nappy. If you do have a baby who say got a, a slim waist or chubby legs, you can angle the poppers. Due to the stretchy tabs, you get a really good snug fit, whatever your size of baby. On the front of the nappy, there are also the length adjusting poppers. Now when you first see this nappy, it's often quite off-putting to people because they think, wow, there's so many poppers there, I'm not going to know what I'm going to do. But you actually just break it down into sections. So along the top here, you've got your poppers for the waist and they're in a nice straight row. Underneath that, you've got the Bum Genius 9 stamp of poppers. And this is where you're going to alter the length of the nappy. So for a newborn, you take the top set of length adjusting poppers and fasten them to the bottom. And because you've got a row of three, it's really secure. There we go. And by popping those down, you can see it actually looks a, a lot more simpler already. When you've got a newborn, inside you've got this stopper section here. And as you can fold that over to make it even shorter for a newborn and just take it away from the belly button area. As baby grows, they will need the middle set of poppers. have the middle section. Generally I find the babies tend to go into the middle section around sort of 15, 16, 17 pounds, well, generally around there. And you don't need to alter the poppers every time you wash the nappy. Once, once you uh, have got it into the right length for them, you leave it until they outgrow that length. Eventually you'd have the nappy in the full length overall. Now this is the Elemental, which is the version 2 of this nappy. Um, the key differences generally are inside. You also find that this nappy is 50% slimmer than the original Elemental, but it still has 95% of the absorbency, so it's a really, really absorbent, really slim. Now inside, the key difference with this new version of the Elemental is that all the absorbency is in these two pads. There isn't any absorbency sewn onto that waterproof section. Uh, it makes it slimmer, but it also speeds up drying dramatically. I'll come back to drying a little bit later. Now when you uh, see the pads inside, until the nappy is really stretched out to its full length, you see that the pads are kind of loose. And this does confuse people um, sometimes, and they think, well, how am I going to use it? It's going to bunch up in the nappy, bunch between the legs. But it's actually very clever as you can move the absorbency where your baby's going to need it. So if you've got a little boy, it does tend to fold it flat towards the front. And now your nappy is smooth inside, but you've got more absorbency where your uh, little boy is going to need it. If you have a little girl, you just do the opposite. You move it more towards the back, where the wee tends to run with the girls. Now you'll see with the Elemental that there isn't a uh, layer or a liner on this nappy. The Bum Genius Free Time has a stay dry layer which helps to keep baby dry. The organic um, Elemental doesn't, purely because this is an organic nappy. It's organic fabric and Bum Genius are then giving you the choice. Um, the stay dry layers are made of um, synthetic fabric. So with this nappy you have the choice. You can either have a stay dry uh, fleece liner, put that on top, or if you prefer to keep things more natural, you can put a paper liner on top as well. The choice is yours. There's absolutely no uh, reason 
and why you couldn't use one in this nappy. It really is down to personal choice. If you use a paper liner, uh, my preference with any Bum Genius product is to use a Bambinex liner because they're a little bit narrower and they sit inside the nappy really well without any need for folding. Now generally the rule is um, they have, if you've got an all in one nappy you don't use it at night time because they generally don't have enough absorbency for all night time use but there's also a limit to how many boosters you can get in without compromising the fit on the legs. The Elemental is an exception to this because it's such a slim nappy in the daytime that there's loads of room for additional absorbency for night time. In theory, you can use any booster with the Elemental for nighttime because a booster is there just to make it more absorbent. Uh, my preference though is for the Hemp Babies Little Weeds boosters. These are squares of fabric, of hemp fabric, so again natural, but also really super absorbent for how slim it is. Um, they have a line down the middle to help you fold it, and when using this nappy, I literally just fold it in half. And then I pop the uh, booster underneath. So it's underneath the pads, out of the way, and it can't shift. It fits inside nicely. It will be inside the leg gusset. And again, that's ready for night time. Again, you'd move it front or back for boy or girl. Now, even with a booster inside, it's still actually a very slim nappy. Um, I've used this on my toddler and it's gone 12 hours absolutely fine and I found in the morning that I could see where the wee had reached up to and it still hadn't gone through up to the back of the uh, nappy so it still had more capacity. If you do have a baby that's still having nighttime feeds or it's just a generally a heavy wetter you may find that you need to put two of the hemp boosters in there. That will make it bulkier but it's going to give you a lot more absorbency as well. Now the great thing about this nappy, because it opens at the sides, there is no need to physically take this booster out in the morning. So all you would do when you take off the morning nappy is remove the uh, paper or fleece liner and then put the whole nappy straight into the bucket complete. Then as it goes around the washing machine, the nighttime booster will be expelled and washed from inside the nappy. So when you open up the washing machine, you're just going to have clean nappies and clean boosters ready to dry. Uh, only a little difference, but it's just one less thing to do in the morning. Now with drying time, generally all-in-ones take a longer time to dry because they're attached to the waterproof inner, so it's um, reducing um, airflow around the nappy. But again, because it's not attached at the back, you get lots of air around the absorbent pads to help with the drying. The nappy can be tumble dried, um, but ideally for environmental reasons it's much better to air dry them. Now, if you hang them up to air dry, you'll find that, as you know, the main body of it, you can separate the pads, get more air around it, and generally that bit will dry fine, but it's going to be slower up the top because those bits are still, you know, really attached to, close together, and the same with the bottom. So when I dried them like that, I'd find in the morning this was dry, wrap was dry, still damp here, so I couldn't use it. However, discovered, if you turn it inside out, which it only takes a second to do, so that you've kind of divided up your layers, so you've got fabric here, waterproof inner, and your other layer of fabric, that's really separated it out. So you've got air going all the way around the pads, and the, the sections at the top, you know, they're separate, so they're not laying over each other. I'm doing it this way, and then hanging up to dry, I got it to dry in nine hours overnight, and that wasn't near a radiator, it was just on my area on my landing, so not near a heat source. If you laid it on an area to dry flat, um, that's going to slow your drying down because it's going to not get as much air near the bottom. So if you've seen uh, my demo video, I think it's the caring washing for nappies, drying, drying them. See, I really like the hanging areas. You, they're designed for socks and smalls and things like that. But I was actually just clipping the nappies on there, hanging them up to dry, nine hours. So for an organic nappy, nine hour drying time is fantastic. So even if you do have limited drying facilities, normally you'd go for a microfiber fabric because microfiber dries literally in a couple of hours. But with a nine hour drying time, that's pretty reasonable um, for something that is organic and as absorbent as this nappy is. Overall, the Elemental is an absolutely fantastic nappy. Very, very slim, very reliable, very absorbent, very simple to use. Excellent quality as you'd expect with any Bum Genius product.